其实最重要的是 Rihanna 那条裙子。My big break came with the Rihanna dress in 2010. It took over 30 months and tens of thousands of working hours to make. The dress was actually already made when Rihanna saw it online and asked for it. Frankly speaking, I didn't know who she was at that time, but the dress worked because of Rihanna's strength and beauty and her ability to carry it off. The year I was born, 1967, was when China was most backward and closed off. There was no fashion at all. The Cultural Revolution was a disaster for us. At the time, all men wore Mao-style stand-up collar suits, and women wore similar things. I could never have imagined that today there would be so many beautiful and colorful dresses. In the early 80s, I wanted to enroll in a vocational school and study drawing. My parents didn't think designing clothes would provide a living for me, but I insisted on it. In 1997, I quit my well-paid job to follow my dream and set up my own business. This was unthinkable at that time, but I wanted to pursue my dream, to make the most beautiful dresses for the most beautiful women. As a result of my childhood, I now particularly like fancy handmade embroidery. I now employ 500 people, but I'm particularly proud of my 300 embroiderers. My whole life, I've been pursuing designing that one big dress. I don't know how beautiful it will get. I can keep improving it. Maybe when I'm old, I still won't have designed my ultimate dress, but I want to keep on doing it. My dress is a record of the time we live in. It's a record of our memories, thoughts, and emotions. China has been developing rapidly, and in the course of this, we've lost quite a bit of our history. My generation has the responsibility to rediscover our missing history and culture, and pass on our traditions. I want people in a hundred or five hundred years' time to look at my dresses and to know how people lived today.